No other monument has been created with so much intrigue other than these feats of engineering that we still couldn't reproduce to this day. These pyramids display nearly perfect symmetry and were constructed around 2560 BC, taking an estimated 20 years to finish. It stands as a symbol to the mysteries of ancient man and remained the tallest building in the world until the Lincoln Cathedral was constructed in 1311. From some newly discovered properties about the pyramids to some questions that historians are still asking themselves, here are the mysteries inside the pyramids. But first, we'd like to give a quick shout out over here to this commenter for leaving us this comment. We appreciate your insight and would like to hear more about what you think of our videos. Number 11. What keeps them together? The pace used to keep the stones together is from an unknown origin and even with all our technology today, we can't reproduce this chemical compound. In the 12th century, a Kurdish ruler of Egypt attempted to destroy the pyramids with gunpowder but epically failed. The stone structures are incredibly sturdy and aren't going to be destroyed easily. It could be because of the heavy stones, but it could also be because of the mysterious glue. Scientists were really hoping to find some kind of writing to unlock the mysteries, but to still no avail. Number 10. The Labyrinth Beneath Hawara it turns out there's a large tunnel system that's carved out of limestone bedrock beneath the pyramids at Hawara. The labyrinth is so large that scientists have yet to explore every inch of it just yet. Some of the first excavations were made in 1843 by Carl Lepsius. They uncovered a large necropolis where 146 portraits on coffins dated back to the Roman period. The pyramid found at Hawara is about 55 miles away from Cairo and built by Amenemhat III during the 1800s BC. Tombstones were inscribed in Greek as we can see in this photo, showing that pyramids were used by various cultures in this land. Inner chambers were sealed off with 30-ton blocks. Other tomb entrances were filled with sand to make it even more difficult to enter. In any case, some people out there believe that the vast labyrinth could actually connect all the way to the ones in Giza. Number 9. Nice and cool inside the Sahara Desert is known for being one of the hottest and inhospitable deserts in the world, but if you're able to get inside a pyramid, you'll feel like you're in some kind of air-conditioned building. No matter how hot it might get in the Egyptian desert, inside the pyramids remains a cool 20 degrees Celsius or about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. When researchers in 2015 started scanning the pyramids with thermal devices, they would notice that there were thermal anomalies inside. No matter what the temperature of Cairo is on that given day, the temperature in the chambers appear to remain constant. What's also interesting is that 68 degrees is the average temperature on planet Earth, so it makes you wonder if some planning was needed in order to actually specifically measure out that amount. Number 8. Did the Egyptians really build them? Some tend to theorize that the Egyptians weren't capable of constructing such massive works of architecture and feel as though they were built by someone or something else. One point that could be made in their favor would be that the pyramids don't contain any hieroglyphics. The tunnels within the Great Pyramids were only large enough for robots to explore. As they entered a small chamber, they found rooms with nothing in them, not even writing. Most Egyptian tombs display a large quantity of artwork filled with stories and writing about the kings and their lives in order to make sure that they would be remembered in the afterlife. The first known samples of hieroglyphics date back to around 3400 BC from the city of Abydos, well before the mainstream date of the construction. No human remains have ever been discovered and experts feel as though no grave robbers would have been able to loot these buildings if they wanted to. Plus, building such a large mausoleum seems like it'd be begging to get robbed, so maybe it wasn't a tomb, and maybe the Egyptians didn't build them. So if not, who were they built by, and why? Is this a massive granite tomb? While it might look like some type of massive stone coffin, there hasn't been any evidence to support that it is. About 20 of these stone boxes were found underneath the pyramids, and they were actually quarried from Aswan. The stones weigh roughly 100 tons each and are made of granite about 500 miles south. Some claim that since the rocks are so big that it was actually built for a tomb of an actual god named Ptah. However, you have to wonder why they specifically chose to go through all the trouble to bring in granite. Granite is actually known for paramagnetic properties and often contain quartz, which is used today in electronics. The amount of work that went into carving these granite boxes would be quite extraordinary, even considering today's tools. One journalist, Paul Baldwin, described them as being precision engineered to tolerances which would be deemed remarkable today. Number 6. The Pyramid of Dozier The oldest pyramid of Egypt comes from the northwest in the city of Dozier, where it comes in the form of a step pyramid. Built long ago in 2700 BC in the mysterious land of ancient Egypt, in the necropolis of Saqqara is the Dozier Pyramid, which dominates the landscape of the nearby area. 
Instead of being made from large limestone blocks, it's actually made from mud bricks, standing 203 feet high. This is also believed to be a tomb, but like the Great Pyramids, there's still no human remains to support this theory. If it was a tomb, it was likely to be ravaged by tomb robbers. It could have also just been there first and then transformed into a tomb. This proposal comes from the fact that the granite burial vault would have been too small to actually fit an entire burial fit for a king. Many feel as though that one of the best ways to understand the Great Pyramids is to understand that the ones that were built before it, such as the Doger Step Pyramid. Number 5. Chambers of the Pyramids The pyramids are not just like Lego structures with blocks stacked on top of each other. There are chambers, air shafts, the King's Chamber, Queen's Chamber, and various other passageways. There is even a subterranean chamber. The granite stones in the King's Chamber in the Great Pyramid weigh up to 80 tons each and were somehow transported over 500 miles. This is, of course, without the help of the wheel or metal tools. However, one of the biggest mysteries about the pyramids is what's known as the Big Void, which is basically like a large empty cavity around the Grand Gallery. Since it's not easy to access, no one actually knows what's inside. Japanese and French scientists confirmed its existence by using various methods including radiography, gas detectors, and nuclear emulsion films. Some theorize it's just a gap that helped reduce the amount of resources needed for construction, while others believe it could contain the answers that we've been looking for. Number 4. Visible from the Moon? Back during the time where they were in their peak condition, it would have been a mesmerizing sight to see and possibly you could have seen it from the Moon. All the limestone would have been polished and reflected the sun's light, making it visible from outer space. It would have also had a smoother and flatter appearance than it does now after centuries of erosion and being used as a source for building materials. It's lost its mirror-like qualities sometime around 1300 BC when an earthquake hit the area. This caused for much of the outer polished stones to loosen and later be used for mosques and fortresses. What we see today is only the inner shell, which definitely wasn't polished. Could the reflections have actually helped extraterrestrial life to become attracted to the ancient land of Egypt, allowing for them to become an advanced civilization? Who knows? Number 3. The Pyramids Vessel Archaeologists discovered a rare funerary boat near the Abusir Pyramids, located just south of Cairo. Since the Nile gave ancient Egypt many of their resources, boats played a vital role for transportation and fishing to the civilization. With the Egyptians taking their burial ceremonies quite seriously, there's no doubt that they would have wanted to bring a boat with them to the afterlife. The discovery of the 4,500-year-old ship most likely belonged to an upper-class citizen since timber wasn't all that easy to come across. The archaeologists were cleaning an ancient mastaba or tomb and found parts of a 60-foot ship lying in the bedstone. This could be key in further understanding the Egyptian shipbuilding techniques as well as funerary traditions. Number 2. Were the pyramids a power plant? Could the real reasons the pyramids were built be hidden in history so we don't revert to unlimited energy sources? Could corporations or elite families be suppressing a cheap way to gather power so that we have to rely on their sources of energy? Would thousands of workers spend years just building a massive tomb or could there have been some other reason that they don't want us to know about? Recent studies have shown that the Great Pyramids in Giza have an internal chamber that are actually capable of concentrating electromagnetic energy under the base. Tesla often felt as though this was a possible theory behind the pyramids and took this consideration when he conducted his own work. The top of the pyramid is also missing the capstone, which some feel as though is necessary for tapping into the cosmic powers of the building. People are banned from climbing to the top, but a man named Simeons claims to have noticed a mysterious electrical power while being there. And number 1. Lined up with Orion it's estimated that there's a toll of 2.3 million limestone blocks that weigh at least 2 to 30 tons each and they're precisely aligned with the constellation of Orion. This could be a very strange and precise coincidence or the stars in the sky could have influenced their construction. The constellation of Orion is often associated with the god of the underworld known as Osiris. He was also the god of the afterlife and rebirth of the ancient Egyptians. Some believe the Sphinx was originally constructed in order to resemble the Leo constellation. In addition to the air shafts that were built that tend to point out directly towards the constellation, it makes you wonder if there was a connection behind it. Could it possibly be giving us the answer to where extraterrestrials were coming from? Or was it to give the soul of whoever was buried inside an idea of where to go in the afterlife? Many new discoveries about the mysterious pyramids continue to be made and maybe someday in the future we'll have an answer for some of these questions. But until that day is here, many things about the pyramids will still remain a mystery.